to um, take the opportunity um, to speak again to um, my amendment, my proposed amendment, relating to the rights of victims. And perhaps a little bit of background, um, uh, Mr Chairman, and, and certainly in the last Parliament, and I want to acknowledge uh, Nandal, Nandal Tanshoff, who, um, as part of, his, uh, part of the agreement uh, with the uh, Labor government at the time, um, was to undertake a, an inquiry into victims' rights. And I just want to, uh, I can recall that, um, as Chair of the Committee, that time very, very clearly, uh, Mr Chair, because of the number of people who came along, uh, victims who had, um, were victims of some really, really tragic situ situations and circumstances that affected um, a very dear and loved one, but that, that, that just the um, commitment they made to the, to the committee and how important to them it was, it wasn't that so many of the submissions were not what we so often hear, and as my, um, uh, my friend and colleague um, in Lise Galloway met, talked about before, it wasn't actually about lock them up and throw the keys away. It was actually about um, the, the role... Um, that they play in terms of reconciling and coming to terms with what has happened and the ability to be part of the process in terms of, um, of dealing um, with, with the person and in this case, uh, Mr Chair, the young person who has committed the offence. Uh, now, I'm, I, I, I have been very critical of this bill and I acknowledge it. Um, but in doing so, I, I did that from very much a principled position on things that we in the Labour Party hold very dear. And uh, as, as so many, as many of us have stated, things that we're opposed to. But, Mr Chair, I would very much urge members... Um, sorry, I didn't hear you. No, no, I'm, I'm talking actually... I'm talking about something that I believe will improve the bill and certainly improve the bill uh, in, in, in being constructive, that's right, improve the bill in, um, in, in terms of victims and in terms of coming to terms and the resolution of um, very legitimate grievances. So um, what I'm seeking to do is clause five um, by repealing paragraph G and substituting that in the determinations of measures for dealing with offending by children or by young persons, consideration should be given to the interest and views of any victims of the offending. For example, by encouraging the victims to participate in the process um, when dealing with the offending, and any me measures which should have proper regard for the interests of any victims of the offending and the impact of the offending on them. Now that's... Sorry? Well, t t well I, I would hope so. This is not a controversial um, amendment. Mr Chair, this is something that will add value um, to the existing uh, bill. Um, if I was being um, naughty, I might say it's probably the most valuable part we'll see in the bill. But I'm not going to do that because I've, I've, um, I've been critical of the bill and I think I've said all that needed to be said on that. But I would urge, um, again, when we are looking at a situation of a family group conference and when, when that's being con convened, how actually important it is um, that, the, that the victim is, um, is involved in that and that the requirement for the chief executive to ascertain whether they want to be informed of the progress so it's not mandatory by any stretch of the imagination, but they want to be informed about decisions, recommendations or plans by family groups conferences to which agreement is obtained and by way of penalty, reparation for an offence and um, a requirement on the Chief Executive's part to, um, to ensure that um, the victim, if the victim wishes to be notified of the child's or young person's pro progress in taking the action that has happened from the family group con uh, uh, conference, sorry, that that will happen. So, as I said before, um, Mr Chairman, I would urge uh, members to give careful consideration. I believe I've had a very constructive um, conversation with the ACT member and I thank uh, that member for um, taking the time to talk to me to make inquiries about that and I would urge other members of the House to give um, equal consideration to this important cause. Thank you, Mr Chair. Mr. Chairman.